Mike Chang here in Vancouver. This is gonna be a really exciting food day. It's gonna start with a chicken sandwich. That looks amazing. This is the spicy chicken sandwich. You can get this in spicy or sweet and spicy or regular. Look at this ginormous monster of a sandwich. A Hulk sized piece of fried chicken in the middle, jalapeno sauce, coleslaw on top. Oh my gosh. This looks like a fire breathing dragon sticking out its tongue. Before you even bite it, you definitely smell the heat. This is a spicy, yet extremely delicious fried chicken sandwich. Oh my gosh, and the heat just come at you in waves. Sure, everyone heard that beautiful crunch on the outside. Inside, deliciously juicy chicken breast. There's heat coming from the sauce. There's heat coming from the jalapenos. When they say spicy, they mean it. Mm. You can tell right away. This is fresh from the fryer. Right? <laughs> 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 the guy next to me had the same reaction. He's like, oh my god, that's really spicy. Mm. I'm trying to get a mouthful of um, coleslaw to kind of cool the heat off a little bit. Coleslaw definitely helps. Even though this thing does feel like lava on your tongue, spicy. It's so good. I mean, the flavor from the spice, the delicious umami from the sauce, the crunch from the jalapenos and the coleslaw. I mean, all that works so well together. If you love spicy chicken sandwiches, this place is definitely worth a try. I saw a fries place that sold poutine. Fresh crispy fries, nice and stretchy cheese curds, delicious gravy. Mm. Poutine, something I get every single time I'm in Canada. I've always heard rumors about a all you can eat poutine buffet that was in Montreal. Never was able to find it, but if that doesn't exist, that's a really good idea, Canada. All you can eat poutine. I'd be down for that. Also, I got some garlic wasabi dipping sauce. Oh, I highly recommend getting that. Garlic wasabi dipping sauce. Oh, that sauce is creamy with a bit of kick. Perfect with a thick, rich poutine. After this, I'll go grab some dinner. So I'm here at the Wooden Fish, and this place is a modern take on Northern Vietnamese cuisine. So a lot of dishes from Hanoi. This smells so good. This is seared sable fish in a hot skillet. And what's making this smell so wonderful is the large amount of dill that's in here. I think this is one of the few fish dishes I've had that has dill. And dill is one of my favorite herbs. It smells good, it tastes good, and this fish, look at it, so buttery and juicy. The meat is so soft and tender and flaky. This is such a buttery piece of fish. Delicious sear on the outside. Inside, pure, tender, buttery, melt in your mouth meat. And it's soaked in all that great aroma from the dill as well. There's some onions, some peanuts, some scallions on top. And this is served with some vermicelli and salad, and of course, fish sauce. Also, lemongrass, orange tea. This is really, really good. Take that buttery fish. A little bit of vermicelli, little herbs and veg. Put the fish on top, dunk it in a little fish sauce. Rescue the herbs that was left inside. Mm. Just like most Vietnamese meat and seafood dishes, it tastes even better with some fresh herbs. 
one of the most tender pieces of fish you'll find anywhere. I love that dill. Love it. giant deep fried lobster tail on top of stir fried dry pho. Look at this, covered in fried onions, peanuts, herbs. Beautiful deep fried lobster tail. The noodles are tossed with some tamarind sauce until it's golden brown. Mm. Deep fried lobster tail is just so sweet. Root, tender and juicy. Noodles are buttery. There's some refreshing crunchy sprouts on the bottom. The noodles also carry with it the nice sweet, sour, and zesty flavor of the tamarind. So you get something that's naturally sweet and scrumptious, and then a refreshing crunch from the sprouts on the bottom. I love dry pho because the noodle texture is so awesome. Also, this is Hanoi cuisine. So you got the wider pho noodles as well. Also, there's tons of herbs in here. There's peanuts to give it even more aroma and flavor. Everything from texture to flavor, balanced and delicious. Of course, the signature dish here is the pho. So this is Hanoi pho, and it smells and looks incredible. Inside, it is stuffed full of meat. Look at how much beef is in here. There's raw cuts of beef, cooked brisket, and you can see all that delicious marbling and fat. There's also pieces of bone marrow in here for some extra gelatinous texture. And inside the hot broth, it just melts and the pieces of bone marrow joined together with the meat. It's just free flowing around this bowl. This is about as much meat as there is noodles. And I have never seen anything like that before in a bowl of pho. And of course, there's wider noodles in this pho as well. Also, I got an onsen egg swimming in this pho broth. I don't think I've ever had Hanoi pho before. This is a fantastic bowl of pho. Just from the broth alone, it's one of the beefiest broths I've had ever. You can taste more of the spices in here, I feel like, than the pho that I've had before. Mm. I taste some cinnamon, star anise. Broth is just so flavorful. I can't stop sipping on that. Oh my goodness, the flavor is just so deep. Mm. That brisket absolutely melts in your mouth. You can taste all the marbling and fat. Mm. The wider noodles definitely has more of a chew than its thin counterparts. And I highly recommend getting the pho with the bone marrow. Bone marrow is so nice and gelatinous -y. There's some chewy meat mixed in with that as well. The rare pieces. Mm. Oh, that is so tender as well. I don't think I've ever had an onsen egg inside a bowl of pho before. But look at this beautiful golden color. Mmm. Oh, that's actually really, really good. That egg is so velvety. Mix that in with a deep, beefy flavor of the broth. 
That just tastes like pure silk. And there's no sriracha or hoisin sauce because that's just not the way they eat pho in uh, Hanoi. But if you do want some heat, there's some hot sauce here and some pickled garlic. So I'm gonna add some pickled garlic. I'm gonna put it in my small bowl just to give it a little taste test. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Add the pickled garlic. I don't think you need the hot sauce. Just the pickled garlic. This thing not only has heat, it has delicious heat. Along with a little vinegariness, some acid. Mix that in, especially if you have bone marrow and you have a really rich bowl of pho. Mmm. Oh, that is exceptional. Especially when you munch on the little pieces of garlic. It just sends an extra layer of sharp spiciness to your taste buds. It was one of the most unique bowls of pho I've ever had. Like I said, I don't think I've ever had pho from Hanoi before, but this makes me want to go to Hanoi. Also something I noticed, they don't give you any herbs like bean sprouts or lime with your bowl of pho either. That's also because that's not something that's traditional in Hanoi. Definitely come and give this bowl of pho a try. 10 out of 10. Oh, it makes walking around in this cold rain so much better. That pho with that garlic sauce. I don't even miss sriracha. Now I'm gonna walk around the cold rain and go for dinner. So from Vancouver back to Richmond. Travel was about two hours with all the traffic, so definitely hungry again. And dinner is gonna be a hot pot that's truly, truly unique and something I never had before. This is a hot pot I never tried before. It's basically a giant wok right here. Very reminiscent of like of like going to a country house in China, complete with a metal drinking cup. And basically, this restaurant called Shen Li Dun, which pretty much means stewing in the mountains. And you can get inside this giant wok how special fish, or you can get a stewed goose with vegetables, or their northeastern special, which includes a bunch of pork and beef and ribs, potatoes, or just a pork only one. There's a chicken one and then a spicy chicken one. So they said the most popular pot is the fish. So I got the fish, but I added in some pork belly. I added in some beef, some potatoes, and this. This is what you gotta get when you come here. These are pretty much raw mantel dough. And what they do is they slap it inside this wok. So the buns are gonna steam inside the wok along with your food. And there's two different kinds. One's made with cornmeal, one's made with just plain white flour. This is really, really exciting. They came with a food. A giant fillet of fish went into the wok. So did the broth, my potatoes, my pork belly. Everything is inside. Also, I ordered some Su Liu Bai Cai. This is one of my favorite Chinese dishes. It's vinegar cooked cabbage. Very simple dish, delicious. And it helps to give you extra long chopsticks too. Mm. I love this dish. Especially just stir fry with a lot of vinegar, a little cornstarch. So simple, yet so good. So this is the giant pot. You see here on the side, this was the dough that is now steamed into basically a flat mantel. Giant cuts of fish and veg stewed inside this brown sauce. There's my pork belly. Mm. Nice and tender. A little spicy, a little nummy. Pretty good. Let's try the fish. Oh my gosh. Giant filet of fish covered in chilies and peppercorn. There's a lot of bones in here, so you gotta be careful. Oh, that's so tender. Super tender, flaky meat, and that flavor of this broth has definitely penetrated that fish. Oh my goodness, so much stuff in here. Fried tofu, there's a giant potato. That's all nice and mushy now. Oh. Oh, potato is so perfect right now. Oh, look at this giant piece of pork belly. There should also be chunks of beef in here. Mm. Beef is nice and tender and spicy as well. Really want to try these things. So these pieces of dough are cooked on the side of the wok and it's steamed as well. So part of it is crispy, part of it is soft. 
Look at how nice and airy it is on the inside. This one's like a little mix of the corn dough and the regular white dough. One side, deliciously crispy. Other, steamy, soft, and pillowy. You gotta dunk this back into this broth. If you ever come here, you gotta get these freshly made, crispy little mantos. I love how well pillowy size soaks up this delicious soup. And I also love how crispy it is on the other side. Mm. That tastes even better than the fish and the beef. And this is the corn version. Let's take that for a dip. The corn version, little less chewy, little bit more sweet. I think I like this one better. This is such a crazy cauldron of delicious ingredients. You can just kind of mix and match. You can add whatever you want in here. You can get a goose if you want, different types of fish. I think the best ingredients in here, definitely the bun and the potatoes. The potatoes are so good because this soup is so delicious. It's really earthy, rustic, just a boiling cauldron of umami. And what they will do is they'll come by and ask you if you think it's too salty. If you do, then they'll add more soup to kind of balance the flavors out. Right now, I think it's pretty good. And you can also get some hot oil to dip the ingredients in. Mm. That's really good hot oil as well. This is a really delicious and very unique hot pot experience. I highly, highly recommend coming here and trying this out. I think you'll love it, especially on a cold, windy, rainy day. If this doesn't warm you up, nothing will.